This continuum of care that starts from the antenatal visits because the antenatal care uh, is uh, important and the care in the delivery room, immediate newborn care, the postpartum care, and later on health of these babies, in, especially in the first two years of life, which are very, very vital as regards the growth of the children is concerned. Now, important fact is that uh, um, we should explore the window of opportunity in the first thousand days of any baby's life. And that thousand days start from the conception that during pregnancy, these 270 days during pregnancy, then the first and second birthday. So if the mother is fed appropriately, if the mother's nutrition is taken care of, then if the baby gets adequate nutrition and the optimal infant and young child feeding practices are followed, then we can expect that the child would grow to as a, as a healthy individual and ultimately would help in improving the economy of the country. Now, another stark reality of, the, of Pakistan is that there is a gross inequality as regards the, the, the health facilities are concerned. If we see our population, 80% of population lives in the rural areas, whereas as regards the health facilities are concerned, they are primarily concentrated in the cities. And even if the health facilities are there in the rural areas, these are not very well uh, equipped so as to take care of the problems of the children. So the poor people, they have to move to the cities uh, to get the adequate advice and to get the adequate treatment for them. So this ultimately would compound the picture. Now, it's a hard fact that stunting in children and income growth, if we increase our GDP spending on health, this would lead to a 6% reduction in stunting, 10% um, increase. And this effect, though, this would not be forthcoming uh, very early, but uh, gradually this would make an impact. And another factor which uh, obviously is also prevalent in our society that uh, there should not be any uh, gender inequality because both baby girls and baby boys, they should be given equal opportunity to grow and thrive. And uh, um, so all these factors, all these things uh, they would require if we are to improve the health status of our children. It's important there should be a high level political commitment to improve nutrition governance and the way we should implement the various programs, nutrition programs and health programs so as to improve the health of our children and uh, uh, we should address the social determinants such as poverty and lack of women empower empowerment. So we have to address these issues as well and uh, focus on exclusive breastfeeding that is very, very important. Exclusive breastfeeding and complementary feeding uh, after uh, six months of life, these are important. Um, as regards the nutrition of the children is concerned. And um, uh, Pakistan, fortunately, has quite effective lady health worker program. If these can be effectively utilized, we can make a dent as regards our overall health indices are concerned. Now, there is a general uh, impression amongst the policy makers that uh, investment in maternal and child health, that is an economic burden. So.